Hi, this is Joe from Brain Buffet. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to nest a sequence. I'm using an example from my Brain Buffet course on Premiere Pro, which I created to prepare students for their Adobe Certified Associate exam. Before we export this, let's do a, a bonus. Right after the credits, we're gonna have a, a little bonus video. Um, let's go back to our project panel. In fact, I'm going to go to simple editing, get out of the graphics workspace, and I think I have my project panel open already, so there we go. Um, earlier, remember, we had this uh, car animate sequence. So let's open up that folder, and inside there is the, the both the layers and the sequence, and I started playing around with adding more cars, and you're welcome to, to do that. I'm going to delete that one, and I just really I thought it'd be fun to animate this car over time. Just have it come flying on and off and maybe have some type of a, an, another element to it. So let's do this. Let's move to the beginning, move your current time indicator. So open up that sequence, um, select the top layer. Let's move the car off and set the position keyframe. And then since I can't see the car, I'm gonna just start scrubbing and then I'm gonna grab it. Double click on it and grab it. Oopsie, that's not what I wanted to do. Hi, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to control Z. There we go. We want to actually move the current time indicator to the end and then move the car. There we go. There we go. So I'm going to throw the car over here. Now, two things that I wanted to show you on this. First of all, if I just scrub through this, notice how the car comes straight at an angle or it comes at a straight line, and that's not how a car would fly through the air. You'll notice that there's a lot of these little dots here, and there's two that are slightly bigger. There's this one right here, and then there's this one right here. If I click on this, this is what we call a Bezier handle, and it lets me curve that line, and so that's what I wanna do. I wanna curve it so that the car comes flying on, and then it goes down. I actually might start my car slightly lower here, and as if it's coming off the ground there, that was a little too far. There we go. Boom, that looks pretty cool. Let's play it in real time. It might be going a little too slow. Yes, it is. So let's take, let's move this closer and play it. Let's move it a little closer and play it. Neat, okay, so that's what I actually wanted. That is fun. Now when it gets right here to the middle, there we go, right to the middle, let's add another element. So let's throw the car up into track two. We're gonna come back here and we're gonna grab the logo. Where's the logo? There is the logo, we'll grab the logo, drag it down here onto track two, and let's try to move it. So I'm gonna select the logo I'm gonna move it so it's behind the car. That will be cool. Now, I don't want the logo to show up until the car is here. Um, so let's trim the logo. And so the car will come up and then the logo will be there when it goes out. Oh, that's awesome. It's as if the car is writing the logo on there. Boom. So that's pretty fun. We created a little movie. This is called Car Animate right now, this this sequence. So remember, it's inside here, and we ha unfortunately, we have two clips called Car Animate, which is not good. So let's rename this one Car Animate Real. There we go. We want to put this into our other project. So here it is. Here's the sequence, the initial sequence. Remember, that's where we've been working, DF sequence. And then this one is the new one that we just created, Car Animate Real. And it's got this cool animation. So how do we put them together? So basically, you wanna add the one that you, the, the main one, the master sequence here, and we're gonna add this right after the credits. We'll just throw that on there. So you just drag and drop your sequence on there. Let's stretch out the music. So the music, goes here and let's get rid of this audio. So I'm just gonna unlink it, right click, unlink, or remember you can click on it, go to clip and unlink. Get rid of that, stretch my music out. 
add an audio transition at the end, or you could just simply fade the audio out and maybe add a dip to black or a cross dissolve actually. Yeah, there's cross dissolve at the very end so that this fades out and let me stretch that out a little bit. Zoom in, stretch out. There we go. Oh yeah, this is looking good. This is looking good. Okay, so I'm gonna save it and we're gonna backslash it. Okay, so you added that. Now you know how to nest a sequence within a sequence. Um, earlier we had done that right here on the timeline, but sometimes you'll have two separate sequences and you just wanna put them together. So that was part of why we did that. Gave you a little bit more animation practice and it gave you um, some nesting practice. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Click the link in the description below to explore more free online professional development and click the link on screen to subscribe to the channel for more videos.